intestines, okay? The lobes of the small intestine here. So like jejunum and ear. So those are the main parts. If you remember things else like pancreas, for example, here, okay? It's located here in this area behind the stomach. So what's happening here? We're going to bring this sac, the peritoneum, okay? It has to be double layer of visceral peritoneum. So first, I will start drawing the lesser omentum, where we agree, say, lesser omentum from the stomach to the liver, yes? From the lesser curvature. So double layer of visceral peritoneum here. This is it. This is the lesser omentum, okay? Let's go and cover them around the liver, okay? As it covers around the liver here, it will go all the way anteriorly. It will reflect back to become now parietal peritoneum. Okay? So this is now parietal peritoneum. This part of lesser omentum will go anteriorly and reflect back again here, as you see, as parietal peritoneum. Two layers of visceral peritoneum here now, if you see them. Those two layers are the falciform ligament of the liver. Okay? Now we have the falciform ligament. Now, this is the lesser omentum. It will reflect to cover around what? The stomach. So it goes all the way. Then from the greater curvature of the stomach, it will descend down. Okay? So now we will have the greater omentum. So this now is the greater omentum. Okay? It will reflect back. All the way up into the transverse colon. To cover the transverse colon. So now... This is the other part of the, these are two high layers to put the inner reflection. How many layers are the greater omentum? Four. Four layers. Now it turns around the transverse column. Okay, then. Once it turns around, it should be seen as more one and a half. Meso. And it's more transverse meso column. Double layer of visceral vertebrae. Okay. Now this layer will become parietal and ascends. Okay, then. The bacteria is around the retroperitoneum. وبتروح بتمسك مع البرايات اللي هون فبتكون عندي كل هذا السبيس الساك هذا كله اللي صار ساك behind the stomach okay now what's happening here is this layer gonna go and reflect back into the intestine okay بتيجي وبتحيط بالintestine after that it will go like this then it comes back again to the other segment of the intestine okay as you see here, now these two layers, what do you say is called mesentery? Those are the mesentery now. It turns around the intestine, then at the end it will become parietal peritoneum. And it will go to continue with this layer of parietal peritoneum. So now all of these spaces here are this cavity high and greater sac. Okay? Those two layers are the mesentery, this is the transverse mesocolon, this is momentum, high age, greater, greater momentum, full high layer, arba. Okay? At the end, the communication between them lateral DG, because this is a lateral view, you will have an opening here, which is continuous here, between the greater and the greater sac, which is the same layer, which we call it, two high small opening, the foramen of Winslow, where structures or fluid can pass in between those two structures. So as simple as that, this is the story of the peritonia. That's why it's a little bit complicated, okay? But it all, you see, it's the same sac, the same layers together, okay? Wherever it covers, if it's over here, it's a transverse colon. Yeah, it's a piece of colon, sorry. Here, this entry. This, Greater this, 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 this opening between them is the pyramid. This is a ligament because it's related to the liver. We call it a ligament. Okay? And that's the story of 